Hello, hello, and welcome back, cheesy gamers. Today, we will be covering Astel, Natural Born of the Void. Fortified. Now, it does require a bit of kind of quest line progress here. The main things being that you need to have spoken with Ronnie at her tower here in Ronnie's Rise. You also need to have defeated General Radon as he was holding back them damn stars. After you beat Radon, a star should crash into the air somewhere around here, leading you into Nokron, the Eternal City. Once you're here in Nokron, you gotta work your way through, follow that all the way down to here, uh, towards the bottom, near the Night Sacred Ground waypoint. Just ahead of me here, underneath this dude who's sitting on the chair, kinda looking like me after I've had a few too many, there should be an item inside there that you need to progress the quest line. From there, oh, what are you doing? You are interrupting my walkthrough. From there, you go back and speak to Ronnie again. Let me just break everything on my way out, excuse me. And we're gonna head over to Rinna's Rise, which is kind of funny considering Rinna and Ronnie are like the same person. I don't know. She introduces herself as Rinna and then reveals herself as Ronnie. Perhaps Rena was a real person at one time and she's impersonating her. I have no clue. The lore of this game has got me all twisted up and cheese brained, but I'll figure it out eventually. Okay, so now this should be unlocked for you here, this tower, and you can enter through this portal to head on our way to Astel, natural born of father of nerds rope and mother of space scorpion. Alrighty, so once you've warped in here, we're going to proceed along to the south and then eventually we're going to take a right here towards Noxtella, also an Eternal City. There are two Eternal Cities, guys. One is named Nokron, the other is named Noxtella. Don't get them confused. People on your Twitch chat will call you out. Um, actually, this one is Noxtella, the other one is Nokron. Anyways. We're heading to the right, and I'll probably fast forward a bit through some of this, so you don't have to watch all of it. And then here, there's a fork. We're gonna move away from the monsters that look straight out of DreamWorks acclaimed motion picture ants, and to the right. This is gonna lead us to Noxtella. You can pick up this bonfire, <laughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, point of grace here. And this is a rather small area, so I'd encourage you to look through it. There's some items and things to be found, but we're not interested in that right this second. We're interested in getting into that great big mass of jelly beans and skulls and pincers that is Estelle. So we're gonna keep on trucking. Anyways, you find this little archway. Will you stop? You find this little archway, and you're going to want to head in here. Oh shoot, I gotta call the elevator. Alright, so now we're going to take this elevator, you get another bonfire here, and we're going to proceed forward, straight away from the bonfire. And there's going to be another elevator here. And here we are, we've arrived in Brazil. Now even with the highest levels of immunities you can muster, you're still probably going to get rotted by this nonsense. So what you're going to want to do is just head straight for the Tweedledum and Tweedledee over there in front of the big opening. And there's a bonfire not too far in, but I'll show you where it is. You can pick up that and then work backwards from there. Here's our grace we were looking for, and boom, we are unrotted. Let's keep on trucking. And 
And we got these nasty little centipede dudes down here. You're going to want to pay them no mind. They might try to shoot stuff at you. Just leave them alone. You can run through pretty easily. A lot of these ones at the end here are transfixed with some sort of god. Don't know what's going on there, but you know, to each their own. We're just going to head to the left. And I'm not sure I'll be able to take this coffin, but I know you will right here. Oh no, I can take it. Sweet. So you'll pop in this coffin, take a little snooze, take a little Dark Souls 2 reference. Actually, Dark Souls 1 as well. Did Dark Souls 3 have a coffin you get into? Hmm, I think they were slacking on that one. If somebody knows, tell me in the comments. But I know there was one in Dark Souls 1 and 2. Cowabunga it is. All you have left to do is walk ahead. There should be a big fog gate here for you guys, leading to your god of jelly beans and death. I hope that was helpful to some of you cheese tarnished out there. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to check me out on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash getcheddar. I still have to beat the dark version of this boss. He's pretty tough, so uh, that will be something I'm doing in the near future. Until next time, stay cheesy out there, everybody.